2017. Vida Movahedi was the first woman to stand on top of a platform on Revolution Street and remove her hijab. More than 29 women removed their hijab and hung it on a stick. Nahes Hosseini climbed on top of the same platform, removed her hijab, hung it on a stick and waved it. At the Moral Discipline Judicial Complex, cases related to moral deviance are investigated. Nahes was accused of three severe charges. Encouraging immorality and vices. Removal of hijab in a public place and public presentation of a sinful act. She could be sentenced to 10 years in prison. Nazarin Sotudeh, a human rights attorney defending Nahis, has gathered all the religious jurisprudence information related to her case. Nahis is convinced that she was not being indecent or promoting moral corruption. It's what she told the prosecutor as well. Nazarin considers everything Nahis said well thought out and admirable. But Nahis admits that if people like Nazarin so today and other women's rights activists hadn't been there, she would not have been so brave. That's why both of them keep their word and do not back down. Also, there are many feminists, including young women who are not mentioned anywhere because they're not famous, who have been in prison for many years. For example, Nahis Mohamidi, Athena Demi, Goldrak Ibrahimi Iraye, Mariam Shariat Marari, Hengame Shahidi, Sabakot Afsari, Leila Hussein Sadeh, Sepide Golian, Morgan Keshavars, Mariam Akbari Monfaret, Yasaman Ariani, Monire Arab Shahi, Parisa Seifi, Marcier Amiri. This is the price that we pay for freedom and justice, and these women did pay it. Even though the laws are still the same, what is important is the change in the way women think and see themselves. The change has begun. Women are demanding. They want. They want their rights. Will there be a gloomy future or a bright future for Iran? I don't know. But I know, and Nasrin so today knows, that without any costs, no society has achieved anything. Costs are essential to keep moving. If this movement succeeds, it is very good. But even if it doesn't, it is a foundation for future movements. Today, Shirin Ibadi and Mansoure Shojae live in exile. They face certain imprisonment if they return to Iran. Nazarin So today was rearrested in June 2018 for her tireless work defending women's rights and human rights activists. She was sentenced to 38 years in prison and 148 lashes. To be continued. Support the protection and the fight for human rights in Iran by donating to the Center for Human Rights in Iran, CHRA. The non-profit organization will use their funds to document and research all incidences of human rights violations that take place in Iran. You can make a tax-deductible donation if you go to iranhumanrights.org and click Donate. Link below.